Before, when I was 14, I was kidnapped by the LRA rebels. When I tested myself, I was HIV positive. I thought that was the end of my life. One of the most exciting things for me to see is how the kinds of programs that we're working with really change people's lives. Today my life is very good. When I started taking my medication, I improved. When I joined the, the village serving, I managed to serve, and I'm now serving, and I have four businesses whereby I'm helping my children. Their life will be brighter than mine. Beatrice became part of one of our village savings and loans programs. It started her on a very different path, and her life has had almost a complete turnaround. And I'm now doing well, and I'm proud of myself. When we talk about women empowerment, it is only through integration that you're able to create a sustainable change in the lives of the communities you're targeting. I will wear your beads with pride and I will tell your story in America. The village savings and loan concept, which CARE has promoted for years, is paying off here in Uganda. It teaches people not only financial skills, but the way to live a lifetime and manage their money. And that's a real payback. What I want to reassure people is that I know we can do better and we can do more. We need more foreign assistance, we need more development aid, and that is not going to take away from our domestic agenda of creating jobs. I think we'll see finally peace and security if in fact we invest uh, these resources in foreign assistance. I think one of the biggest challenges in telling the story of people overseas is that you can't experience it. Um, and I think once you bring high-level delegations to a country, they actually have an opportunity to see and witness for themselves development, its challenges, um, the many successes, and really the lives of the people that we're working to serve. It's important for us to go and get beyond the paperwork and the statistics and the PowerPoints and the slideshows to actually see the people and talk to them. There's no better way to understand the, the true impact of what an agency like CARE can do without coming out here and seeing that. Oh, so policymakers need to understand this story. They really do. If you do it right, the story of Rosalind will go back to America and people can understand that development dollars do make a difference, especially in people like Rosalind. This was one of the most inspiring visits of our trip here. Just extraordinary, extraordinary women and extraordinary, extraordinary children. And now I'm going to cry again. It's amazing. It's amazing. Bye! <laughs>it been a real honor to be part of a CARE Learning Tour because the purpose is to take opinion leaders, members of Congress, business leaders, media people who can make a difference in U.S. attitudes and show them why development assistance is important, why USAID, Centers for Disease Control, and U.S. government programs are working, and how organizations like CARE are major contributors to that success. I would like really to thank CARE to bring for us such a great program so she's just one example of a woman whose life and the life of her children has dramatically shifted as a result of the kind of integrated programming that we're seeing here today and much of it is a, is a result of dollars that are part of our foreign assistance programs that really show why these are the kinds of investments that can make such a huge difference.